Welcome to the Curmudgeon's Kitchen. I'm going to try something different today. I've made pickled beetroot many, many occasions, and it tastes really good. But I thought I'd try fermenting some, just for a bit of a change. Let's see how we do it. I've got a variety of beetroot I picked yesterday, and some of it's this, I'll put the name up there, it begins with C, uh, but it's a candy cane they quite often call it. And all I'm going to do is peel it, pop it into my fermenter in a 3.5% brine solution, along with a, a few spices just to liven it up a bit, and leave it for a week. Then I'll taste it, and I'll taste it again until it tastes just right. Then we're going to add a little bit of vinegar at the very end that was recommended from the recipe. So let's have a look how we're going to slice this up for fermenting. All right, let's just cut the ends off it. Now, I don't know if this will work, but I'm going to try peeling. Oh yeah, this should do it. So I'm going to peel them all. Because we're fermenting these, I don't want to peel them in my normal manner, which is to put them into boiling water for a few minutes. Well, quite a few minutes, until the outside's just cooked, and then the skin just slides off. But I don't think it'll work in fermenting because we'll kill all the lactobacteria that's on these which is what we want for the fermenting. I am going to give these a rinse though. I also have some yellow ones. Still a beetroot but a much milder type of beetroot. Once they're fermenting away, I think we'll find they'll all be the same colour. That's what happens in the pickled buns. The deep red colours everything. That is my bull's blood. And I really like these ones because they're incredibly deep colour. And here we have a white beetroot. Very mild taste on these ones. Looks like a turnip, but it's not. There we go. I think that's sufficient for my fermenter. I'm going to give them a wash, then we'll cube them up, pop them into the fermenter along with some different sort of spices, but not too many, don't want to overdo it. Mix up the brine and just let it sit. Right, I've just weighed it. That's 1.75 kilos of beetroot. And now we're going to cube it. What I have to do is pop in a couple of bay leaves, a star anise, believe it or not star anise goes really well with beetroot. I would normally put in a chilli but I just won't this time. A little bit of mustard seed, oh and some black peppercorns, just something to flavour it up. Right, let's keep going. I'll use my yellow beetroot. Right, let's pop in the last of the bay leaves. Another star anise. A few more peppercorns. More mustard seeds. And make up the brine. We've zeroed the scale. No, we haven't. Now we have. And we need to make up a 3.5% salt solution. So for the litre, it's going to be 35 grams. And we'll make up another one if we need it. 36. That'll do nicely. into the jug, a little bit of hot water to dissolve it, I'll make up another litre, a 
there we have it three and a half percent brine almost filled up i'll top it up a little bit more but i need to push it down and i need to get my stones in there not sure how it'll turn out i'm hoping it'll be good people have told me it's good but i won't let it beat me yeah. have you got a beetroot fermenting recipe share it with me i'd like to know what you put in there like subscribe please and i'll catch you in the garden and a bit later for tasting <laughs>